I got started with this as a conversation with my six-year-old daughter. She challenged me, she said, Daddy, you've got to be able to do something about this. And so I thought, you know, after about half an hour or so, I thought, actually, we can. We can use SAP Leonardo. The challenge was, how do you go about designing single-use plastic waste out of the world and the global supply chain? So the SAP Plastics Challenge is about bringing together businesses, it's about bringing together consumers, and it's about creating fresh ideas to make a real impact on the problem of plastic pollution. We are in a position to make an impact in so many ways. We have the intelligent technology to be able to come up with answers to this problem. So we brought together our customer network and some people from across the supply chain of plastics. We engaged 24 citizen consumers, which enabled us to generate hundreds of ideas in a very short space of time. They had very different responses to the problem. And also we were looking at a number of metrics, like how feasible was the solution, how scalable was the solution. Was it also legal to use data in that particular way? And also uh, how long would it take? Because what we're looking here for is quick impact. So the winning app is an app called Reward for Change and it's designed to incentivize consumers at points of purchase to make better buying decisions around the use of plastics. So the idea is an API that will plug into an existing loyalty card scheme. So when you've finished your shopping, you'll get a notification which will group your shopping by red, amber and green. So red items are things that contain a lot of plastic or maybe non-recyclable materials and that allows you to uh, feed back to the retailer about the, why you made the decisions you made. If things are green on the flip side, that will actually help drive a loyalty reward into your loyalty account. Retailers are interested in reducing plastic themselves because if they can make packaging more efficient and if they can improve their experience for their consumers, they're going to end up with better customer relationships. Another app that came out of the challenge was RecycleMate, and this is about looking at the point of disposal and arming consumers with a better understanding of where they should be recycling and disposing of particular pieces of waste. You'd be able to use image recognition to be able to look up against a database of that product and that packaging type and inform the user of the correct disposal method. The app will be consuming machine learning, big data and analytics, all part of the SAP Leonardo portfolio. The idea is that the data would feed a plastics cloud. The plastics cloud would contain, as a result, real-time information of all of the plastic that's coming into the waste system. And so waste managers will be able to start to predict and see visually where waste is happening and understand how that's going to impact the system. The solutions that we're generating from the Plastics Challenge will tackle the 80% of the population that are motivated to do something about plastics. We have the ability to take these things beyond just bright ideas into scalable, meaningful solutions. We are driving real change and that in a time not so far from here, we will be empowering hundreds of millions of consumers to make better decisions around plastic use. We can really make a difference. When people, our society, or us, or our customers, want to do something meaningful at scale that delivers sustainable business impact over time, there really is only one answer, SAP.